Welcome back, guys. Uh, we, we're doing okay. We have 12 million in the bank, no loans. Our lines are kind of making money. Uh, some of them, not all of them, uh, but they will. They will. Um, so what I want to do today is first of all and i like the new that there was an update i, I like this this looks nice uh, so what, what what i want to do is first of all we may we hooked up uh, fort lauderdale last time and this means that we basically have five different cities connected together so what i'd like to do is make a new passenger line going from Providence to Detroit to Fort Lauderdale back to Detroit and that's that and that looks good to me so and this is going to be uh, tax, whoops, tax, uh, rail, FTL, pro. And this one is then going to be Pax Rail, Providence, or Provo, Providence. So we're going to shorten that line and we're going to put two new trains on the other one at least two new trains so we have a passenger train here come on there we go oh, uh, let's let the dates run a little bit uh, so manage the line and we are starting in Provo, Jackson, Providence, uh, no. not Detroit, not Providence, like that. So Provo, Jackson, Providence, back to Jackson, and back to Provo. And that'll be fine. Then... We'll buy some new trains. Um, and I think we went with the 10 wheeler, didn't we? Uh, passenger and one, two, three, four. It's five, four. We'll buy one. Put you on Pax Rail, Port Lauderdale, Province. Okay. And our uh, train station up here is situated, so it basically covers the whole town. Not quite, but a lot of it. So we don't need to put in a passenger line up there. But I think once this train gets kind of up there we'll clone it uh, we're going to borrow some money to do that so let's borrow uh, I sold one of the trains that we had on the Fort Lauderdale fuel line because we really didn't uh, need to have uh, two trains on there in order to supply Fort Lauderdale with what it needs because that line has a frequency of where are the trains uh that's that's fuel for fgl so it has a rate of 104 so it should be okay it should be okay so that's good is very very good
Okay. And we have a lot of fuel sitting down here or oil sitting down here. Not as much as I would like, but we have oil. So it's fine. It's fine. It was pointed out that I have a tendency to uh, put uh, rails or uh, signals both on the inbound and the outbound of the junctions and I should only be doing it on the inbound into the junction and that is uh, a very good point uh, because this has the potential to cause problems so I will fix that at some point for now it's working though so that's fine all right so we have two trains on here now wow 32 passengers on that one and this one has 51 passengers okay that's not bad and down here we can switch so that's nice uh, what terminals are they on? 1 and 3. I don't really want them on 1 and 3. I want them on 2 and 3. So... You get over there. Well, actually I want them on 1 and 2, don't I? Uh, so you go on one, you go on two. Okay. And that'll be fine. So that's that done. Uh, we can repay a little bit of our loan. And of course, having done this, uh, this also gets a better frequency because it doesn't have to go all the way to Detroit. So that's nice. Achievement earned. Mass production reached 400 production at a manufacturing industry. Okay. Good, good. Abandoned industry burning Burbank machines. All right. Now. Providence is getting almost what it needs for tools, and so is Jackson. Almost. I think what we need to do, if we look at uh, this train here, no, not that train. Uh, this train here, no, not that train. This train here. Uh, so we have a rate of 281 here. That's not enough, because that gives us, what, 190 production or so. So I think we need to clone one of these vehicles, get this rate up a little bit more. And then maybe get the rate up on the, um, on these guys. No, not these guys. These guys? Yeah, these guys as well. Because they have a rate of 194, which is not enough to supply Providence and uh, Jackson. And if we add a train, then we could add Detroit as well, which wants 45 tools. So that is a possibility. is a possibility we're picking up tools you're coming down with fuel not a whole lot of fuel though not a whole lot of fuel how are we looking here it's looking kind of okay man a lot of industries being founded So we're going to go down there. 
Uh, how many trains do we have on this? Five? With a rate of 166. That should be more than enough. We are not making money right now. Why are we not making money? So two passenger lines, isn't it? Even though they're running almost full. They're running almost full. And they're not making money. It's amazing. I, I, I really don't understand it. I really don't. Really, really don't. Okay. Where are the trains on this line? Whoa, this is fast. It seems like there are a lot of passengers waiting. So we've got 47 in Providence. Okay. Uh, Spokane oil well is closing. Where's the other passenger train? It's there. 80 passengers on board. And more waiting. And up here we have 69 passengers waiting. So we should be getting full. We should be getting full. You're coming down with 138 fuel, okay. That's more like it. You're going down empty because you just delivered. Providence, I did go ahead and update some of our wagons to steam. A new sawmill down here in Jackson. There. I'm happy with that one. Okay, um, you know what, let's, uh, I need this up here, I like having this up here, uh, let's borrow some money, uh, so that we can, uh, clone you. So now we have seven vehicles on there. We can repay some money so that we're not paying interest on that. And that means another train on that line making money for us. Because these trains really do make quite a lot of money for us. They are by far our biggest uh, money maker. The Murfreesboro Steel Mill. Okay. Uh, why? That line is making money. Coming down empty here, of course. And you're gonna come in there. The chemical plant is gonna shut down. Okay. So you're going to pick up a lot. Okay, so I think it's about time that we start extending these train stations over here. Because I want to get better trains on and make more money from the fuel delivery. And San Antonio wants more fuel than it's getting, so that's good. 
passengers there, 41 on board. We have passengers in here. 33 on board. I still don't understand why the passenger lines are not making money. They just don't. They just don't. They're almost running full. All the time. It's very frustrating. Very frustrating. But anyway, uh, let's... I think we need to pause and take a look let's start down here uh we need to borrow some money let's just borrow a lot and let's bulldoze this the trains are going to get very confused about this but let's just pull back there and we'll configure this so right now, this has three platforms. How many platforms do we need to make it 240 meters? Six. Okay. So. Platforms, cargo. One, two, three. Tracks. One, two, three three and that should do it uh, then we need uh, tracks out here uh, tracks come in there and then we can come in there and that kind of does that and then just a signal uh, let's put it there and there okay so that's one done then we need to extend this one uh, platforms uh, one two and we need to pull those that and that and go in and configure with some tracks in here one two three And then we can get these tracks hooked up again. That's not nice. Let's pull you back a bit. That's not what I wanted. This is much better. Okay, does cause a little bit of upset there, but it's fine. And signals, put one in there and one in there, I guess. Okay. I want to put signal in here and here as well and this will be fine so that's now extended and there's this one uh, Sacramento we don't actually need to extend this one we do so configure you platforms one, two, yes, three, is this, or, or what? You know what, it's going to be easier, I think, to bulldoze this.
and extend here, but we can't. So we gotta bulldoze these tracks a bit. Something like that. And then we can configure you, get that in there. Oh, we need to bulldoze those tracks as well, don't we? Uh, bulldoze that track, that track, and that track for now. And configure tracks. Ding, ding. Ding. Oh, there's the other side as well. So platforms. One, two, three. Tracks we can put in here. And then we need to jump out of this and bulldoze these tracks in here. Like so. Configure again. Tracks. And put those tracks back in. Like so. Okay. And then we can put the tracks back in. Like that. And like this, I guess. And that'll be fine. Why is this construction not possible? Okay. And then we need some signals. So we want a signal here and here. We have signals there. Do we have signals in here? No. Signal there, signal there. And I think that's fine. So that's extended. Then it's this up here. It just needs two. So I guess one on each end. Platform there, platform there. We don't really need to extend the uh, passengers because I don't think they're going to get longer than they are. We'll have to pull this back some though. And we'll have to pull this back some. Okay. And then we need to configure you and get Tracks in there and there. Okay. Tracks. So you come in there, you come in there, and we'll come off like so. And like, uh, we need to remove that at least. And come off like this. slope come on is there Damn it. seriously seriously okay we'll try doing the other direction first Like 
and that. Is this construction not possible? That is very, very annoying. Uh, we might need to, if we pull that back a little bit, and we then, nope. All right. Let's come back here. Get you going in. Get you going in. And then come off way back here. That works. Okay. And then you come on to here. Okay. And we need to do the same here. I think we're going to have to pull this back a bit. You go in there. You go in there. You come across there. You come across there. And you come in there. Okay. Signals. Uh, we want a signal there. Signal there. We want signals down here. We want a signal up here. And we want signals down here. And then... I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And we want double slip switches. Three of them on each end. I think I forgot to do that at the others. So we'll have to fix that. All right, double slip switches are working. These double slip switches are fine. These are fine. And then there's this one up here. Okay. I can figure you platforms one two three tracks one two three tracks it's actually fine but it could be a little bit better like so Eesh. Uh, let's try and come down this way. All right. And come in there. Signals. And nothing is broken. So that's something. Uh, I do want to put this in again, though. No, it might have to be over here or something. Uh, I don't think this will work. Will this work? That will work. Let's 
so we'll come up there, we'll pull this back a little bit. Uh, and I do not want player ownership. I always forget to turn that off. Okay. So that's fine. That is fine. How much money do we have left? Not a whole lot. So I think we'll have to repay. We'll let this run and see if any problems arise. Uh, this is double slip switch. This is double slip switch. So let's repay some more. All right, so we made around four million there. If we hadn't done the investments, we made around four million there. Detroit oil refinery, where are you? You're there. Okay. So, hmm. Let's pin that. Let's pull up our lines. This does not be need to be that wide. It can be that wide. It's okay. And look at our road vehicles. They just don't make money. Even though there are plenty of the lines that actually do make money, they just don't. So, fuel to FTL, this fuel to FTL might be rough, uh, fuel, hmm, this one might not make that much money, but I hope it will. But look at our passenger lines. I mean, they are running pretty much full. Not this one right now, which is a little bit surprising, actually. We don't have anything stuck or anything, do we? I don't think so. 30 on board. You have 13 on board. But they're already more waiting, so that's fine. Why is that Grand Prairie Annex? Is this over here, Grand Prairie? Yeah. Uh, so, you will be, let's call you Oil uh, Station. Well, Crude Station. And then this will be Grand Prairie. I don't like that the Stations that are connected to the actual town are not called the town name. Well, we've repaid all our debts, so we have enough money to do something. But if we take a look at this, we have five trains on here. We want to replace them with the Atlantic. with capacity of 180 I think it is yeah so that will cost 54 million to do 54 million but if we do this then we certainly won't need all the trains so we can probably sell two of the trains so around 30 million it'll cost us to do this. So what I think I'll do is let the game run for a little bit so that we make some money 
It was it 180? I, th I feel like it was 160, but is it 180? It is 180. So we'll we'll let the game run for a little bit, make some money, so that we have around 35 million, so that we can upgrade these trains. That's my plan. Uh, how many trains do we have on this line? Just one. So this one we could upgrade right now. It sometimes makes money, sometimes loses money. Overall, I think it's a losing. A losing uh, train line. But if we upgrade it to the other one. To the other train it might be a money-making line you have 62 fuel coming up you have 63 crude coming down it seems like everything is working Seems like everything is working. Uh, so yeah, Make four million there. So you're heading over to Detroit Halt to pick up. There is enough for you to pick up. You are an FTL. You didn't quite get a full load. You have 2.6 million in rack, so we need another 20 million. Another 20 million or so we need in order to be able to do this and then this will be a very very profitable line I think what is the rate on this line right now 94 so it needs a higher rate but it will get a higher rate with three trains with a capacity of 180 instead of five trains with a capacity of 63 so I think it's the right move to um wow one minus 1.7 million i don't like that i guess it's just timings it's coming up here it's a passenger train let's see how much you make uh, dropping these passengers off Five hundred thousand. And it got a full load. Now how many trucks do we have on this one? I think it's fine. It just goes up there and then back again. Look at this road. Wow. That is some road. looks pretty cool though looks pretty cool it's going straight through the mountain Push. straight through the mountain that looks insane oh I didn't see what how much you made well you're at a million and it does make money most of the time. So that's good. Well, you only had 15 on board. That wasn't great. I picked 39 up. Okay. Anyway, we are out of time. So we're going to have to call this one here. We're at 15, 16 million right now. We need to double that. Uh, that's including the loan 
in order to uh, to get our upgrades in. So we're going to save up to get those upgrades in. And hopefully make a lot more money on the San Antonio line. Look at that. Hey, one of the passenger lines is making money. No, it's not. Stupid passenger lines. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.